Mm. All right, going live in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Oh, all right. We are live. What's up, Hexters? It's been a while since we talked live. Um, back in the studio, and uh, I have a little friend with me. As you may know, I love little friendly animal robots, and this one is no exception. Uh, its name is Nibble, uh, which is the same word as I think it's half a bite, like four bits is a nibble. Uh, and this is an adorable little robot cat that we've covered before. Uh, I did an unboxing back in the day. Unfortunately, uh, I told people I was going to put up a video of the assembly, and uh, it turns out that uh, someone else in the office wanted to do the assembly, and we didn't video it, so unfortunately that didn't happen. But uh, I, I still feel guilt about these things. I want to be a, a woman of my word, you know? But anyway, uh, Nibble was featured on the cover of Make Magazine, that's right, there is a new Make Magazine, um, and it's full of awesome stuff. Besides having a feature on how to build Nibble, I should have uh, bookmarked this beforehand, <laughs> there's a, uh, well it gives me an excuse to flip through again, here we go, page number 76, get Nibble, and it teaches you how to put it together and stuff, I think, yeah. And it's got an interview with Rong Zhong Li, the creator, which is super cool. And yeah, this cat is actually incredibly smart. It can do uh, real-time stabilization on an unstable surface and things like that. Um, this magazine issue includes things like a do it DIY, do-it-yourself little uh, wooden boat, which looks adorable. Um, and a couple of really cool things, for example, from Public Lab, which is a community science group. They publish all kinds of um, citizen science projects. And in this magazine, there is even a fold-out, tear-away, uh, assemble-it-yourself paper spectrometer. Uh, yeah, it says, this spectrometer can be mounted on a camera phone, laptop, or webcam. So cool. Oh. Uh, and this, this organization is really cool. They have a ton of other projects up that are completely open source, um, including, there's other things in here as well, like a water filter and stuff like that. Uh, I want to take you on a little journey with Nibble, though, um, because uh, this little cat started right here on Hackster, and I love it. <laughs> so here is the Nibble project from October 2018, almost exactly a year ago. Happy Throwback Thursday. Um, uh, completely laser cut. The brilliance involved in how this cat is constructed, like it's so well thought through. Um, look at the little suspension springs and limbs. Let me show you this in real life. Um, where these servos are attached, they've got these little suspensions um, inside of the limbs. It comes with a little calibration object, which I haven't brought out here apparently, that helps you calibrate the servos and figure out exactly how to mount them and how to calibrate them once they're on. You've got this, of course, an adorable little uh, ultrasonic speaker array for, um, for sonar, speaker sensor, and um, yeah, these little rubber feet help it uh, grip onto slanted surfaces, which helps show off that, uh, that real-time stabilization. Another really cool thing about this was how the snap-out pieces came. So uh, this looks like a single pass on a laser cutter, right? Maybe two passes. Well, some of these places, uh, they were laser cut again to half depth where these tabs are attached um, so that they would snap away easily without damaging the part. So all these places where you see these little tabs those parts were still held on slightly by those tabs and they were laser cut through about like maybe a single half pass or something. It's so cool. Ah, such a mastery. You can just tell that a ton of thought went into this. And uh, let's take a look at the original version too. Um, so besides this, <laughs> I like how hand and mind are listed as fabrication. Mm. And uh, are the laser cut files in here too? Here's the code, schematics, and things like that. Um, so yeah, Nibble ended up on Indiegogo, actually, and was very successful. Uh, 
so cool. And uh, started out as Open Cat. So this was an original plastic version that shows some of the characteristics of the current nibble, but there's a few differences, like for example, look at the back there, there's a few extra ribs and things, and uh, the legs still have that suspension, but it's all made out of plastic, which I feel like would be a little bit more brittle. Wow. And even more flexible, maybe. When was this one published? This is uh, was originally published um, on February 23rd of 2018, so yeah, about eight months and then a year until now. So cool. Oh, not only that, but um, Rong Zhong talks about the, first up, a, a little couplet that he created, or a quatrain, my bad, when uh, first lighting up an LED with a Raspberry Pi, which is so cool. Like, all the, the cultural mm, depth of this project is really beautiful. And then there's also some stuff about traditional Chinese architectural techniques that were used in the construction of the robot as well. Let me see if I can find it. Nope. <laughs> well, uh, there's these old building techniques where you would slot together pieces of wood and fit them together instead of necessarily rely Oh, we've got some strange things going on. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you would slot pieces together of wood and uh, Connect them sort of snap them together use little uh, other pieces of wood to sort of connect and lock them in place and uh, some of those techniques have been used in the creation of this robot as well, which just makes it a really wonderfully thought out piece. Besides the Open Cat um, tutorial, we also have the old unboxing video. And you can also follow Open Cat and Nibble on Twitter at Petoy Camp. I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but yeah. And on Instagram as well. Besides that, you can follow the latest news from Make at twitter.com slash make if you want to keep in touch with what's going on with it. There's all kinds of cool stuff. You know, it's, it's the same magazine that we low and love. It includes stuff about uh, this giant, ginormous 3D print in here. Whoop -a -doo. There we go. Look at that. It's like twice life size. It's ridiculous. And also, I would recommend that you follow Public Lab because they're really cool. Um, these people are publishing all kinds of projects that you can use to make science in your backyard, in your local streams, uh, do air quality stuff, and yeah, whether you're leading a class or just trying to get into it and uh, address the world's problems, or if you're just curious, I think that Public Lab is an awesome organization. And you can see some of their community science tool building workshops that were uh, published just earlier this month on October 3rd and 5th and stuff. And if you click on the join links, then you'll be able to uh, see the recorded versions of these live workshops. So go check that stuff out. Um, you can also follow Rongjong, of course, on Hackster. If you just click on his username. Uh, we got a chance to meet him in person. Uh, I believe it was last year. And uh, he just seems like an incredibly patient and awesome university teacher. Uh, yeah. Say bye, Nibble. <laughs> Have an awesome day and hack on. Okay, so I just realized that I did an entire video about Nibble and didn't even turn on the robot. So I'm going to show you what I believe is a demo program that's loaded on the cat right now. And if I just connect the batteries here on the bottom with this little lever, then it's going to pack itself up into a tiny little shape so that it's ready to travel, which is just one of the many incredibly well thought out features of this robot. <laughs>